Hey everyone. Okay. Um. Hey everyone. Pretty much, I'm going to be talking about how to make ruffles for Hana from Black Butler, or just ruffles in general. If you need to find out, let's get started. Pretty much for Hana, what you're gonna do is you're going to measure two inches of like three times. Pretty much, I'm going to be using eight inches all together for the fabric. And then you're gonna mark every two, so it's gonna be go by two, like two, four, six, and eight. And then when you get the lines out, keep going down so you have a straight line, and then cut it out. The way I'm going to cut it is I'm going to fold it like this, so in half, and then even it out again, and then. One more time. Make sure it's not even. Iron it down to make sure you get it straight. And then, as soon as you iron it down, basically where you make the line, you're going to cut it down. Depending on what kind of scissors you have, scissors. Um, this is going to be either very easy or very hard. As soon as you're done, your shirt should look something like this, and then you're going to fold it in half. You're going to fold it in half so you have pretty much something you're going to pin. So, fold it in half and then pin it. After you pin it like so, you're going to iron it down. Like, be careful with your pins, of course. So, at least you get like a straight line. So you don't have to worry about it whenever you go underneath the sewing machine. And then as soon as you're finished doing that, you can bring it to whoa. You can bring it to your sewing machine and sew it. Or hand sew, whatever you really prefer. Pretty much when you're done sewing, it should look something like this. This is machine sew. So, but yeah. So something like this. Um, if you want, you can iron it down straight now, or you can just wait until you turn it inside out. I like to wait until I just, like, turn it inside out. That way, I don't have to really, like, you know, worry about me doing something wrong. So, after you've done that, it should look something like, you know, like, what are these? Like, kind of round-ish. And then now you're going to take extra fabric. Now you can take one of these, well, all of them really, and line it, and iron time. For ruffles, I feel like your iron will be your best friend, because this is what strands, well, for any costume really, your iron it should always be your best friend. Unless you, your parents or someone breaks it, and then that just sucks. Hmm... Iron, 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 iron. After you got it straight and stuff, do that with every other strip. Just in case you don't know what Hana looks like, she looks like this. Like this. And you see the ruffles on her sleeves right here. Like around here. And then she also has some on her neck and around her apron corset thing. So that's pretty much what I'm making a ruffle for. Okay, so pretty much after you've done sewing it out, you're going to get whatever item, well actually no, you're going to take this part and you're going to start putting the ruffles into it. So pretty much let's get started. Okay, pretty much to make her ruffles, you're going to come up with each layer, so this much. And then, I guess you can do two at a time, then this much. So then, you're going to pin it. And then you're going to keep going around. To keep it in, you may want to just pin it, like, again, going this way. And then you're going to keep going and keep going. Until pretty much you've ran out of fabric to make the ruffles. 
pretty much when you're done putting your pins in, it should look something like this. And then you should sew it with your sewing machine or hand sew it, whatever you like. Okay, pretty much as soon as you finish sewing, well, all of them are doing whatever you need to do. It should look something like this. And these are your ruffles. Yeah. Pretty. Here's some more. I did two of them at the moment. Yeah, look all my name. See? And then whatever item you're going to get, you this is the part you may want to get it now. Okay. Alright, so this is the top of my Hana outfit. Pretty much, I need to sleeve. You're going to take your sleeve and one of the ruffles and turn it inside out. Let's do that. I made a video on how I made um on some of the things I made for the top. For the top of Hana. If you want to see it, I will be posting that very soon. So look forward to it. Alright. Pretty much as soon as you get it inside out, you have to take the ruffle, the good side of the ruffle, and poke it out. So from here. Take it and you're going to pin it on the out of it, on the outer layer. Pretty much you're gonna keep doing it. When you do it, make sure you don't make extra ruffles. Like there is a way you can make the ruffles on it while doing it. So like you don't have to really sew it twice. But in this for this one I'm just going to just Pin it like this, like so. Pretty much, you're just gonna keep doing it for the whole entire thing. Pretty much, when you're done. Pinning it from on the outer edges is going to look something like this. And then you're going to sew it. Just in case, to always make sure for me that I make mistakes very easily, I have to always turn it inside out again just to make sure that it's correct. So yeah, I got to correct this one. And then you're going to cut off the extra. I always leave the extra on until I finish sewing it just in case because sometimes you know like depending on what kind of fat fabric you have it can look like you pinned this much but then you really need it like this much like just this little bit so sew it and then cut the extra fabric off pretty much when you're done sewing it should look something like this okay i'm gonna turn it inside out Whoosh. And let that be the flash. It looks something like this. Ruffles. So you have it and stuff, and of course you have to like clean it up after you're done with it. It's thread. And then this side also. Ruffle. Ruffle. Ruff, 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 ruff. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> Pretty much that's it. And then at this point, as you you're going to see like where you can cut it and stuff. And then all you gotta do is snip, snip. So I'm just gonna cut it. I always cut it a little bit more than look. So I have like a hem line. So there's like that. So at least I can just sew it, and then I'll be a little extra. Same thing for this side. Do it. Make sure. Yeah. And then all you gotta do is pin that together.
and also same thing goes for this side, just pin that together. And then pretty much you just gotta sew that sew that down. Now you're gonna sew yeah, sew this down. After you sew that little closure, you're pretty much done. And then just see how it looks on you. Alright, so now you're all done. Everything that you see here is, is handmade by me. Of course, on fabric. Um, I do have to just iron it down so it can like stay down kind of. But this is pretty much it. Almost done. And for the ruffles for her neck, just do the same thing pretty much. For me though, I'm not going to sew it onto the top. Unless I like, I feel like I should. I most likely I should have enough time to just sew it on. But I'm not. I was thinking of not sewing it onto the top, so it really, really tickle my neck. Um. So and then I was just gonna make like a choker, like a ruffle choker for it. But pretty much this is everything that is done for now. And then I should be posting. If you have cosplay and you know, or Facebook, follow me on Facebook at Angel Moon. You know how the other processes went. That some of it I did not record. The top I did record. I don't think I posted that yet. So I'm going to post that. Alright, and this is pretty much it. Um, I'll be making another video on some more progress. And please like, subscribe. And if you like more videos, just go to my page and explore. Later. Bye-bye.